to six, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here to answer a viewer question. This one from Ryan, talking about loading some stuff in the back of his dump trailer. Hi Neil, this is Ryan, just north of uh, Seattle, Washington and Bothell. Um, looking for some advice. I've got a Kubota B2320. Um, it's been a really good machine. Um, been plenty of power, everything that I can really ask from it. Um, other than the bucket capabilities, I, uh, I really struggle to load my trailer here. Um, it'll get the product in it, um, but I can't back away with it um, because I need to curl down the bucket and the bucket ends up being inside of the trailer. Um, I was looking for a machine that maybe has a little bit more reach and height. Um, I can only get the bucket in so far because the front of the tractor will contact the trailer. Um, everything I've been doing here with the loading has been by hand because the bucket just hasn't been able to help me. I can start it with the bucket a little bit, but once I get um, barely anything in the, in the tractor or in the trailer, I end up pulling a lot of it back out. Um, I got the grapple on it. It's been a great help with the grapple. Um, and I also often use my post hill digger there. Um, doing a lot of fencing, um, some uh, pulling down trees, um, and doing a lot of grading work with the tractor. It's really done everything I've asked it to do, except for uh, being able to put debris in the trailer. Um, I only have two foot sides on my trailer. I was hoping to extend that as well, because you can see this would be my second load for the day. I'm gonna have a few more loads today. I wanna bring down a couple more trees. Um, it's taking a lot of time and the machine's just sitting. Uh, if you could, let me know what you think. Um, what would be a good machine? Um, again, power's fine, um, if possible. I do live on kind of a hilly environment um, and I have turned the Kubota over once before, just on its side. Um, I know probably exceeding the capability of it, but it's happened. Um, if you have any recommendations for something with a, a higher reach, a longer reach, maybe a little bit wider stance for the tipping, um, I'd appreciate your advice. Uh, thank you. So I love this question for a couple of reasons, mainly because it highlights something that I covered a lot of different videos here in regards to loader specifications. What we go through is people who are shopping for tractors and that kind of stuff, you'll definitely find everybody wanting more all the time. We want to lift more and we're always looking for the tractor that can lift the most weight. But there come some downsides to that, and those downsides are specifically what Ryan is finding here. When you have a tractor that lifts a lot of weight, usually that's achieved by keeping the loader bucket back as close to the machine as possible. Just like when you lift something with your arms, the further away it is from you, the harder it is to lift. And by bringing those arms back close to the machine, you can lift more. So a lot of machines that have very, very high lift capacities have that bucket tucked back close to the machine where it's not lifting very high, it's not lifting very far away, and so it can lift a lot, but it can't do anything with it. What you'll find is when you need to pull the tractor up to the trailer, be able to reach into it and dump that load, a lot of those tractors with those really high numbers can't do those kinds of things. Now, Kubota tends to take a fairly balanced approach, but you're still gonna find those limitations like you have here, especially in a small tractor. If you go through and you look at the spec sheet for your B2320 or the current loader that's used on the small B-series tractors, that machine is gonna have 61 inches of clearance with the bucket the entire way up and dumped over. So that's telling you how high you can get dump the bucket and back away from the trailer without catching it. So that's 61 inches on the B-series. Then you have 15 inches of reach. So that's the distance you have forward from the front of the tractor to the pivot pin on the loader. And those two numbers, that amount of reach forward and the clearance when you come back, 
are the kind of numbers that we often look for on skid steer specifications where we're really doing a lot of this kind of work loading dump trucks and those kinds of things. Obviously, like you alluded to here, a little bit larger tractor is going to do these tasks more effectively. If we stay in the Kubota line and go up to the LX series tractor, you're going to get a little bit more. Um, you're going to increase that reach specification, that clearance when you're way up high by six inches. Not a lot, but six inches. And the reach forward is going to increase by eight inches. So both of those are taking incremental steps. For me personally, I hesitate sometimes to take somebody and make a small step like that from say going from a small B series to a big B series, you're getting more, but you're not getting a lot more. And even your loader lift capacity is very much the same way. You're picking up 15 or 20% or so. However, when you go up to the standard L series, that's where these numbers will start to move considerably. And I just very recently here did a video comparing the loader on the Big B or now the LX to the standard L series and showing that the standard L loader is more capable than its spec sheets lead you to believe. When you look at the standard L and the LX or the Big B on paper, they look very comparable to each other, but actually hooked up to a load cell and working, the bigger L series tractor is a lot more capable. And when we dive into these numbers, this clearance number, we're now up to 76 inches, so a full 15 inches higher that we can back up and clear the side of that trailer. And our reach goes from 15 inches to being a full 25 inches further front. So a standard L really is going to do that loading application a lot better than what an LX or a Big B would. I would discourage the move from the small B up just because six inches isn't really going to do this for you in a dramatic way one way or the other. I would recommend going the step bigger. If you follow all of my logic there, if you're shopping for a tractor and trying to understand this stuff, diving in the loaders is one of my favorite things to go through. These things are so much more complicated than boiling them down to the single lift capacity number that people try to kind of distill this down into the my tractor is stronger type application, kind of that, that bragging that we do of how much we can lift means nothing at all if you can't do the stuff that's being shown here to actually take those loads and lift them and dump them into a back of the trailer takes things like reach and lift height and those kinds of things. If we dive out of the Kubota line too, we're a dealer for a lot of different companies. New Holland is a company that uses loaders with a lot of reach and a lot of lift height. Kind of coming from that agricultural background where they're looking at being able to stack round bales and that kind of thing, they tend to design their loaders where they have those longer booms on them. And so for applications like this, that brand can do really well. But when you dive into their lift capacities, they'll appear on the light side because they're balancing that loader for those lift and stack and dump type applications and not just raw tonnage down low. So interesting stuff. If you go through and you look at uh, the glossy spec sheets, often don't give you all the numbers that you need in order to really make these comparisons. If you Google online for bid specs, the specifications that are given to governments and state bodies for when they're doing bids for particular equipment, the bid specs usually go steps further and give you a lot more of this kind of information. When you dive into other equipment like skid steers and more industrial machinery, these are very common numbers on that kind of stuff. The guys that are buying that equipment will know things like how high their pin needs to be to cover the side of a triaxle dump trailer and those kinds of things. So very common specifications there. But when we're marketing and consumers, all too often these marketing companies and marketing departments go for the big number down low, which really doesn't tell us the whole story. So if you're shopping for a piece of equipment, you're local to us and we can help. Or if you have parts and service needs for a machine you've already got, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at Messix.com.